where did that grenade come from that killed me? Did you see how that, like, I did that barrel roll and then hit two guys and it all blew up? And wow, that was awesome. He just got sniped and then cartwheeled over the side and then got run over by a warthog. He flipped six times in the air, landed it, and kept going. So it's sort of fun though that with safe films, that single bullet that comes in that's actually gonna kill you that hits, then to actually watch blood start coming out and to watch see the guy get shot back, to watch that in slow motion and to see, look how cool that ragdoll is, look how cool this particle system is, look how cool that looks, it's just fantastic and it's really fun to see. People can't make things up now. They can't lie about what happened in the game last night. They can't exaggerate. The save film essentially is an automatic replay of every game you play. Fly anywhere you want to in the map, pan around, check things out. The amazing thing about save films is that you can actually relive any moment that happened at any time and look at it from any angle. If you're not quite sure how did they actually get the flag out of our base when we supposedly had three guys guarding it, now it's easy to go back, watch the film, see what they did. The controls basically work exactly how you would expect them to. It's so simple conceptually, but making it a reality, it took years. <laughs> Your first person, if you click the right stick, it shows you what that person was looking at from third person. The other option you have while you're following someone in third person is to break out into a orbiting cam. So anytime you hit the right stick, you automatically move out into this orbiting camera and you can zoom in and out. I'll say it. I did not know that the Warthog actually had like an internal like dash lights and crap. And so then like I'm flying around and I'm like, wait, what? Like there's actually like lights in here? There's two ways to rewind. You can either press left on the D-pad which is a shortcut, or you can bring up the control pad, highlight the back button on the control pad, press A, and you'll rewind that way. Every time that someone rewinds in a save film, I hold my breath because there's like, it's like God reaching in and being like, make magic happen, and then it magically just keeps working. Like, the complexity of that system is so insane. Now the other cool thing is the ability to go into flying camera, and you do that by hitting the Y button, and that breaks you out into a free roaming camera. You can watch it from above and you'll, you can see what you did, maybe get a perspective where you can actually see the impact of that grenade you threw and, and zoom in really closely on the action that happened after that. So there's one group who was like, no, don't allow it. They're gonna see too many lies. It's a pain in the ass. The other side of it was like, look, flying cam is cool as shit. It, it actually is a big deal. When you're in flying camera, if you hold in the left trigger, you can actually fly around the map faster. And then the right trigger is your speed control. If you hold down the right trigger in just a little, you'll notice it's slow motion. And if you hold it in all the way, it actually becomes fast forward. I want people to be able to make those snippets, be able to make those moments and share them and be like, look at this awesome game, look at these crazy things I did, and that's so awesome. And I want that to be inside our engine, not to have to go to some external site. Safe Films and Forge, I think, represent uh, the, the coolest features that we have in Halo 3. We're giving them the tools to basically play Halo how they want to play it. They can set up any map however they see fit. It's just crazy how much a map will change with just a small variation of either weapon placement or just where the flag spawns in CTF. If you don't like it there, move it one meter to the right. If you want to in Forge, you could build your own base on the beach, maybe add some turrets for a defense, add some crates to hide behind. Try building a building out of fusion coils and then blow it up. You could have 50 versions of Sand Trap that are each built differently, that each emphasize a different type of game style. Forge is actually an old school Bungie name. It was the name of the map editor for the Marathon games. It's kind of a nod to the hardcore Bungie fans. One of the guys on your team is this partially omnipotent little monitor flying around, dropping weapons for you and holding crates to block enemy fire, picking up your scorpion and carrying you to the other side of the map. It's like the hand of God that has come and picked up this large vehicle and started slinging it around right in front of this guy's face. Your buddy can drop a bubble shield in front of you, now instantly you're protected. Maybe now you'd like to go on the offensive, ask your buddy to drop a Spartan laser for you. Next thing you know, you've got a laser in real time. 
Once we realized we could do something like that, we are like, this will be the mother of all multiplayer matches. You can manipulate everything on the map. It's not just weapons and grenades and vehicles. It's spawning. It's where the flag sits. It's where the turret sits. It's every single object in the level. They're gonna love the forge because they can spend hours dropping tanks on each other. Each item has a cost associated with it. You have only so much Halo currency to spend on a particular map. Yeah, I've joked that people are gonna take our maps that are broken and within a week they're gonna fix them because they're actually gonna make the real version of like, hey, you know what, Bungie, your version of Territories in this level sucked and here's the real one. We're not really sure what people are gonna do. People are gonna figure out new ways to use the forge that I think we don't even understand or, or know are possible yet next crazy thing that you're like, oh my god, they just took Forge and they took safe films of that and they added voiceovers and they just did Macbeth. Holy crap, like that's crazy and that's awesome. Everyone's riffing off each other's ideas and then all of a sudden some diamond just emerges from it where everyone needs to have this map. Oh, this is so cool, I can't believe we're actually letting people do this. This is the stuff that's going to keep people playing for years on end, that's going to make a billion hours get logged on Xbox Live. This is the thing that is going to really set our game apart from the rest, I think.